Dear all, last lesson we acquired, 1. Understanding of three-phase AC, worksite power supply and distribution, as well as temporary electricity safety technology through reading the construction plan and the worksite power supply plan of the teaching building of a school. 2. We have mastered the knowledge of wires, cables, bus bars, and distribution boxes as well as the operation skills for installation through the installation of temporary power distribution boxes. Today, we'll learn something new. Asynchronous motors, also known as induction motors, are used in various aspects of national economic activity. Due to incomparable characteristics, these motors find their wide application. They have the advantages of simple structure, easy manufacturing, low cost, high efficiency, and reliability. In this lesson, we'll learn two methods to identify both endings of a small three-phase asynchronous motor and make a comparison. One, use a multimeter in the milliampere range, a pointer type multimeter is required to distinguish. Two, use a multimeter, a pointer type multimeter is required and batteries to distinguish. Now, we are going to learn a new project, Project 6 Assembly and Disassembly of Small Power 3-Phase Asynchronous Motor. Project Overview. Small Power 3-Phase Asynchronous Motors are widely used to drive various small machine tools, medical devices, household appliances, electronic instruments, meters, and so on. It demonstrates advantages such as good starting and operating performance, simple structure, and convenient maintenance. Project Objectives 1. You are required to master the method of distinguishing both endings of a small three-phase asynchronous motor through understanding the basic knowledge of a three-phase asynchronous motor. 2. You are required to master the structure and operating principles of a motor through disassembling and assembling a small power three-phase asynchronous motor. This project contains two tasks. 6.1 Discrimination of both endings of a three-phase asynchronous motor. Project 6.2 Assembly and disassembly of small power three-phase asynchronous motor. Let's start with task 6.1 discrimination of both endings of a three-phase asynchronous motor. One, task assignment and analysis. This task requires you to master the method to distinguish both ends of a power three-phase asynchronous motor and acquire a further understanding of the related theories of a motor. Two, task objective. You are required to distinguish both ends of a small power three-phase asynchronous motor and master the concept, classification, nameplate, and technical parameters of a motor through different methods. 3. Implementation methods and steps. The following two methods will be adopted to distinguish both ends of a small power three-phase asynchronous motor and make a comparison. Firstly, we will learn how to use a multimeter in the milliampere range, a pointer type multimeter is required to distinguish. One, firstly, use the resistance range of a megameter or a multimeter to identify the two wire ends of each phase of the three phase winding and assign U1 and U2, V1 and V2, W1 and W2 as assumed numbers to each phase of the winding. 2. Connect the wires according to the following diagram and rotate the rotor manually. If the pointer of the multimeter, microampere range, does not move, it proves that the assumed number is correct. If the pointer moves, it indicates the assumed numbers of both ends of a phase are incorrect. In this case, the phases should be readjusted and retested one by one until the numbers are correct. 3. There will be eight cases at most, and please see the table below. Next, we will learn how to use a multimeter, a pointer type multimeter is required, and batteries to distinguish. One, firstly, identify the two wire ends of each phase of the three phase winding and assign U1 and U2, V1 and V2, W1 and W2 as assumed numbers to each phase of the winding. 2. Connect the wire as shown in the figure on the right, and observe the direction the pointer of the multimeter, microampere range, moves to. 
At the moment of closing the switch, if the pointer moves towards the side where numbers are positive, both the wire ends connected to the positive pole of the battery and the negative pole, black probe, of the multimeter are heads or tails. If the pointer moves in the opposite direction, both the wire ends connected to the positive pole of the battery and the positive pole, red probe, of the multimeter are heads or tails. 3. Then, connect the battery and the switch to the two wire ends of another phase for testing. In this way, you will identify both ends of each phase correctly. The content of this lesson has been fully presented. Let's review the key points of this lesson. Discrimination of both endings of a small three-phase asynchronous motor. 1. Use a multimeter in the milliampere range, a pointer type multimeter is required to distinguish. 2. Use a multimeter, a pointer type multimeter is required, and batteries to distinguish. That concludes this lesson. Thank you, everyone.